Picture yourself casually strolling down your usual street. So normal, right? When suddenly, the sidewalk beneath you vanishes into darkness. Terrifying, isn't it? Sinkholes freak out people everywhere, swallowing cars, trees, and yeah, sometimes entire buildings. So today, we're looking at seven absolutely wild moments the ground gave way, totally unannounced. And trust me, number one is something you'll have to see to believe. Welcome back to Maps Explained, where we reveal the unexpected. By the end, you'll be seriously impressed by these unbelievable holes and pick up a few safety tips too. How do sinkholes even happen? Sinkholes, as it turns out, usually start because water underground is quietly dissolving rocks, typically limestone or gypsum. This creates hidden caves beneath us. Eventually though, these caves can't hold up anymore. They collapse suddenly. No warning signs, nothing. Limestone, which uh, is porous, very much like Swiss cheese, couldn't support the weight uh, of the ground above it, and therefore the ground collapsed. Usually they're very small and localized, and you can come in and fill them, stabilize it, and you move on. Um, in this case, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. From strange to stranger, the craziest sinkholes ever. Great Blue Hole, Belize. The Great Blue Hole is the largest and most famous ocean blue hole in the world. It's a thousand feet across. This giant underwater pit is about 407 feet deep and pulls in adventurous divers with insanely clear water, amazing sea creatures, and weird hidden caves from thousands of years ago. Devil's Sinkhole, Texas, discovered back in 1867. This super deep cave, over 400 feet down, is now home to millions of bats. Visitors often feel amazed, maybe slightly terrified, peering down into its echoey darkness. Winter Park Sinkhole, Florida. So, a peaceful Florida neighborhood suddenly had a 350-foot-wide sinkhole swallow everything. These days, interestingly enough, it's a calm city lake. Very different vibe. Well, you would hardly know it these days. It just looks like a nice lake right in the middle of the city. The Winter Park sinkhole looked like when it gobbled up part of an Olympic-sized swimming pool, part of a luxury car dealership, and May Rose Williams' three-bedroom home. That's why it's now called Lake Rose. 41 years ago, this lake was a massive sinkhole right in the middle of Winter Park. Photo from 1981 showing the sinkhole. Guatemala City Sinkhole, 2010. Out of nowhere in 2010, this practically perfect circle, 65 feet wide, 300 feet deep, opened up in Guatemala City. Heavy rains and messed up underground pipes apparently triggered it, and it ended up gulping down an entire three-story building. The gaping hole is 66 feet wide and 100 feet deep. Geologists say its shape suggests a cave formation underneath. The same hole swallowed a clothing factory, Workers had left the plant just an hour before. 100,000 have been evacuated. In the capital, flooding opened a massive sinkhole which swallowed a building. Dicetta Sinkhole, Texas. This sinkhole got attention worldwide when, in hours, it swallowed vehicles, drilling equipment, and storage tanks. Growing to 900 feet across and more than 250 feet deep, people were stunned as experts scrambled to figure it out. It's about 700 feet wide, more than 150 feet deep, and it's growing. This giant sinkhole in Texas appears to be swallowing everything in sight. What might have begun as a crack in the ground has grown into something much more menacing. I'm going to go down with the ship. 
For residents in Dysetta, Texas, the sinkhole is taking on a life of its own. I've been through fires, I've been through floods, nothing like this. Never imagined we'd ever go through something like this. Geologists are still trying to figure out what caused the sinkhole and if there's any way to stop it. Officials say the sinkhole's growth has slown overnight, while local residents are keeping their sense of humor, naming it Sinkhole de Mayo. Residents say a 20-foot hole in the ground eventually opened up into this monstrous crater that's 900 feet wide and 260 feet deep. It's already swallowed up oil tanks, telephone poles, and several cars. Xiao Tian King, China. This sinkhole is really something else. Over 2,100 feet deep, it's got its own ecosystem hidden away at the bottom. Since its discovery in 1994, it's been puzzling researchers and explorers. The sinkhole's formation is attributed to the relentless work of an underground river that carved away at the limestone bedrock over millions of years. This process resulted in the dramatic vertical cliffs that define the sinkhole today. The door to hell, Turkmenistan. An engineering error caused natural gas underground to ignite, creating a burning pit almost 230 feet wide. Over 50 years later, it's still blazing, pulling in about 15,000 curious and brave tourists annually. Now, it looks a lot like a volcano. It's not. Karunas describes it as part natural phenomenon and part industrial accident. There are conflicting timelines and conflicting histories. But somewhere around 1970, a sinkhole collapsed, either naturally or because a crew was drilling for oil, and methane gas started spewing out. Soviet authorities decided the best way to get rid of that gas was to set the crater on fire and let the methane reservoir underground eventually burn itself out. The crater looks much more dramatic at night as the hundreds of flame burn with the desert in the background. Something neat about this type of gas fire is that it doesn't burn with smoke like a wildfire, which means that you can see it clearly without any obstructions at all times. I think it's ready, I think it's ready, I think it's ready. Or in this guy's case, to cook a marshmallow over it. If exploring these crazy sinkholes caught your attention, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Which mysterious phenomenon should we cover next? And if you liked this video, the next two will blow your mind.